Hi, this is Phyllis. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be making this pearl necktie. We will use the right angle weave technique for our construction and some bead stringing. And if you like what you see, stay tuned for my materials list and we will get started. The materials for today's project are numerous. First off, we're going to be using um, my pearls. Um, I'm using two brands of pearls. The first brand is going to be my Swarovski pearls and the color here is turquoise and they are four millimeter size. I, um, I found them in my stash. I don't know how I could have uh, forgotten all about these beautiful pearls, especially since you can't get Swarovski anymore. I'm going to use an edge color of pearls, and that's going to be the Preciosa brand, and they are um, alabaster, um, not quite cream color, but they're alabaster color. Then I'm using two needles. It's going to be, oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to use these seed beads here. Um, they are a Delica color, and, um, I'm, and I don't know what the color is. As you can see, it has rubbed off, but it's... Um, silver lined pretty beautiful that's going to be for the hidden message that i weave into the project so because we are doing a two needle right angle weave technique i've got my two needles here i'm using my six pound fire lined in the crystal color and we're going to need several several yards i'm using my um Pliers. I may need another set of pliers for opening and closing the jump rings as well as flattening the fire line when I use them. I'm using my fire line scissors here. And for my findings, I'm using stainless steel. I'm using my 14 millimeter swivel lobster claw clasp with some stainless steel jump rings for extenders. I'm going to use my stainless steel wire guardians and my bead board. Here's my bead board down here, the regular Velux color, Velux color one. So if you like the project that you saw at the beginning in my intro, please gather your materials and we will get together and get started. To begin our project, we need to have string a comfortable length of thread onto our needles. I, I have my needles threaded here with a very comfortable length of thread for me and you can use whatever comfortable length you need. You're going we're going to need several several yards. So, um use as much as you feel comfortable with um and make sure you have even tails. So, this is what I have. My even tails. And we're going to begin the project by stringing three of our edge beads. And I'm going to work this project by width, not by length. So I am stringing on three of my edge pearls and one of my main color pearls. I'm just, I'm going to slide these pearls off the needle and with this fourth pearl I'm going to cross over and what I mean by that is the needle that I just used to string them is pointing to my left. I'm going to take the needle that is in my left hand and I'm going to pass it through this pearl from left to right. That's what I mean by crossing. So when you hear me say that, we're going to cross it. And that makes the bead that I'm doing that in a crossover bead. So that's some of the terms I'll be using. What I'm going to do now with the, the threads, both threads in my crossover bead, I'm going to even up the threads again, the, the needles again, and I'm going to hold them. And I'm going to, to take hold of this main color pearl here and I'm going to pull my thread. I'm going to pull, pull, slide, slide, slide. Ugh, 
entangle myself. If you have watched my videos, you know that it wouldn't be a video that I have made unless I've tangled up some thread or put the wrong bead on or something, but nevertheless, we get the projects done. <laughs> so just pull the threads down and make sure that they are even, and this is what you have, your first right angle weave unit. Remember that we are working right angle weave and that each unit is comprised of four points. The first unit is the only true unit that we make with the four points. Everything else we add now is going to be um, connected. So as I said, this is our connected bead, our connector bead, and I'm going to continue by showing you how we're gonna do it because I said we're working the width. So I'm going to string on one pearl on the left right needle, one pearl on the left needle, today. I'm going to let these slide right down off of off the needles and then I'm going to string on uh, with either hand one pearl and I'm just going to pull it off the, the needle and I'm going to cross it through, cross it with the other needle and I'm going to pull it down. We don't have to hold down for our um, evenness of the uh, of the threads again because we did that in the first unit and this isn't um, plastic uh, threads that move around so you don't really have to worry about that and I'm gonna I'm gonna continue now to do the same thing string on and round round pearls and beads are pretty pretty uh, cumbersome sometimes if you can't see the holes one pearl on each needle and of course drop my needle one pearl on each needle and let them just slide down the threads if you can see that here these are the ones that I just added I'm going to string on one pearl with my right hand and you can use either hand it doesn't matter and pull this pearl right off the needle and cross it through and this is how we're going to make our units so right now how we count these units are we can either count the boxes like this one two three or you can count the outsides one two three so we have three units, and I'm going to make nine. The, the um, importance of this project is you're going to need an odd number of units. So we're going to continue this way by stringing on a pearl on each needle and letting them slide right off of the needle and string on another one to cross over, to cross through. So this is what we're going to do. And we're going to continue this until you have eight. I believe eight. I forgot. It's morning. I need my tea. I'm sure that you figured out that something happened while I was recording. So I went ahead and I completed my units and I have eight units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And in order to complete this row, I need to do my edge unit. So we're gonna do it a little bit differently because we're gonna be making a turn. Um, and the turn means that I'm going to put all of my beads on one needle before I do the crossover. And I'm using my, my left needle right now, even though it's in my right hand because I'm pretty right-handed. I'm just going to string all of the beads on with my left needle holding it in my right hand. And I'm going to slide these beads off of of the needle 
and I'm going to just take that last one there and I'm going to cross it with my right needle and you'll see what I mean by making a turn I'm going to try to keep them flat so you can see what happens as I pull my thread as you can see the thread now we have the same units and they look the same but I needed my thread to be in a different place so it's very important to pay attention when we're making the turns now for my comfort I like to work going away from me so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna flip my unit this way well, this way like this where my threads are exiting here so my left thread is here it's exiting going away from the work so this is my left thread here coming away from the work and this is my right thread here it's going towards the work what I need to do now is begin a new row I'm going to do that by stringing on with my outside needle I'm going to string on two of my edge beads and with my inside needle I'm going to get untangled here with my inside needle I'm going to string on one of my main color beads today and I'm going to pull this pearl right off of the needle and I'm going to cross through with my other needle and I'm going to leave the work flat so you can see what I'm doing here so you can see how it sets up okay you see we still have the same formation but my needle now my inside needle is here this needle in my left hand is inside and the needle that was in my other hand is going toward the outside of the work with the inside needle what we have to do now is get into position to make our next unit we can't make our unit from here because we we have to incorporate these beads with the next unit so I've got my four seed beads here I mean sorry my four pearls here one two three four but they are not all independent they are connected and they are connected with this unit so that we have to continue doing the same thing by connecting to the next unit so what I'm going to do with this inside needle is I'm going to pass it through this pearl here just that one and I'm going to pass my needle into and pull it through and it'll tighten up and in order for us to continue now to make these inside units we use two of our main color beads the reason we use two is because we already have two we've got this one here let me move this we've got this bead here this pearl here and we have this pearl here that are a part of the unit that we're making so the only thing we need to do now is add two pearls one pearl on each needle but with the you pull down the thread on the the outside the right needle and you're going to cross your needle into this pearl that's on the inside and the left pat cross your needle through the pearl today yes and pull down and I'm going to leave this flat so you can see what's happening when I pull my needles they set right up into the formation so now these two these two pearls that we had here are now a unit with the two pearls that I just added and I need to keep doing that so you're gonna have a thread that is um, facing away from you that's your outside thread and then you're gonna have this thread here that's as ex exiting the pearl from the inside and that's what I mean by your inside thread you're gonna string pass your needle into that next 
pearl going in that direction and now you are your threads are in position to add more more beads so more pearls so I'm going to string on one pearl on each needle the outside thread of course I'm going to let that pearl drop down and with the inside one I'm going to pass it right off the needle and I'm going to cross it when you pull down you will see it sets right up into its formation and we're gonna keep we're gonna continue pass your needle into the next pearl going in that direction and string on one pearl on each needle and pull them off right off the needle pull this one right off the needle and cross it through and I'm not going to make you watch me continue doing this but you keep doing it the same way you string on your pearls and you get into position for the next unit by passing through that next pearl going that way and when I get to number eight when I get right here I'll meet up with you so I can show you how to make the new turn. I am at the end of this row and and I have taken the liberty to advance my needle into this final this um, edge pearl and we are making our turn which just means that I'm taking this same needle and I'm using it for both of the pearls. So I'm stringing on both pearls on the same needle. Round beads are a little cumbersome, and especially if you're searching for the hole. All right, so I've strung this on and I'm going to just pull the needles off of, I'm sorry, pull the pearls off of the needle and I'm going to cross the other needle into it and I'm going to leave it flat so you can see what happens how it sets up just like this and while I'm here I'm just going to flip this over so that I can work away from myself I have an outside thread and I have an inside thread with my inside thread this inside thread I'm going to string on a main color and with my outside thread I'm going to string on my edge color two edge colors and pull these pearls right off the needle and get over here to my main color and pull it right off the needle and cross my other needle into it so that you can see we have the new unit and of course the tangle new unit for the next row I tell you it wouldn't be one of my videos if we didn't have some entanglements. <laughs> okay, now, as and I'm going to continue. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to continue until I get to the end of my thread because I have a short length. But this is how we're going to work your units until you get the length that you want. I have one um, I what I'll do is I'll work until I get to the end of my thread and then I'll show you how to make the the point once we make the point then um, you can finish off your length or you can finish your length before we make the point depending on what you want to do but I'm gonna get rid of all of this thread here 
And when I turn the camera back on, we're going to make our point together. I'm at the end of my threads, and the only thing I'm going to do is take each thread and weave them. Maybe I'll start with the inside one, because as soon as I messed with that outside one, it started to come loose. So we're making figure eights in our work. We don't go straight across any bead from like this pearl straight across to this pearl because that defeats the purpose of the right angle weave. And um, seeing the thread. So what we're doing is just, we're just gonna go in right angles until we finish our threads right here I just will just do a whole unit going into four just to secure just to secure the threads and um, just work away the thread as much as you can And then I'm just gonna I'm gonna nip that that off in a minute. But I'm I need to do the same thing with the outside thread. It's exiting this edge pearl. I'm just gonna work in right angles just to work the thread away. And and this is what you're gonna do um, whenever you run out of thread as simple as that just work the thread away as much as you can so that you're not um, going in between pearls you're just working your way in right angles just to work it away and to secure it and once you secure it then you can get your your scissors nippers cutters or whatever and just cut the threads off you don't have to watch me do that but we're pretending now that you have your length and um, because I showed you how to do this, we worked in the width, in widths, in order to make this length, because it's, of course, it's gonna go this way, but I'm going to um, take a little break and have some, uh, have some tea and uh, something to eat. And when I come back on, I'm gonna cut a new thread and show you how to make the tip. I've threaded my needle with one yard of my fire line on both needles and I have even tail threads. So I'm going to start off, we're going to make the tail now, I'm going to start off by passing one of my needles into this pearl bead, the main pearl color because we are decreasing in our um, white right angle weave units. So we're starting our decrease here. I'm going to string on, on my outside needle, if I can untangle my threads, already starting off with a tangle. I'm gonna thread my outside needle with two of my edge beads and of course my inside needle with my main color and I'm going to cross my needle into the main color bead. I'm going to leave my work flat so you can see what I'm doing. Pull my thread down and here we have our first unit. We're going to work the units in the same manner as we have been and by getting into position for our next unit, passing our inside thread into the pearl here, stringing on one pearl on each needle and passing our needle, our other, crossing our needle into the other pearl bead and the op going in the opposite direction. Same way we've been doing until we get to the other side. I will meet you when I get to the 
last purl on this row but continue doing the same thing and I'll show you how to do our turn. I have made my units and now I am already in position to make my next unit. And I have taken the liberty to string on one purl, one edge purl on each needle. And I'm going to pass this purl off of the needle and I'm going to cross into that purl bead and pull my thread. And here we are. What I'm going to do now is get into position to do the, our next decrease by continuing with my inside needle and I'm going to put cross pass into this purl bead. down into this purl, cross into this purl bead here, and into this purl, and then I'm going to take this needle, which is exiting here, and I'm going to pass it into this pearl, up into this pearl, into this one, here, and here. And now both of our threads are crossed into the same main color pearl. And then I'm going to flip my work this way and arrange my, my threads, my needles and threads, and I'm going to start all over again by using my outside needle to string on two of my pearls, my edge pearls, and my inside needle to string on my main color. And I'm going to pull this main color off the needle and just pass through, cross it, cross it through here and pull my threads. And we're going to continue this. I want you to continue doing the same thing that we just did on that last row. You come down and you just do your regular units until you get to this bead. And then you put your two edge beads on and cross and weave your threads around and until you are sitting in the next main color bead to make our decrease. And once I am finished, I will meet you at the point so I can show you what to do. I have completed my point up until this last main color bead. And I have done my repositioning and I am, both of my, my threads are coming out of this main bead right here. I have taken the liberty of stringing on one pearl, one edge color pearl bead on my left needle and one pearl bead on my right needle and I'm just going to let those go fall down and then I have my crossover pearl that I placed on my um, right needle. I'm going to pull my needle, the pearl off of the needle and I'm going to cross through like I have been doing while we were making all of these units and I'm going to pull my thread and that will complete the point. The only thing is it does not complete our point, our threads. So I'm going to work the threads away as I did in the the last set, uh, section when I finished off my, um, my width here. I'm just gonna work all these threads away like I did before, uh, traveling in right angles until I feel that the thread is secure and I'm going to cut it off and then I'm going to turn the camera back on and I'm going to have a new thread at the length um, to finish out the length. I'm going to finish out my length and when I turn the thread on we are going to 
put this thing together and make it a necktie. Because I don't want anyone to be confused regarding um, beginning and ending their threads, what I've done is I completed the first section and I ended off my thread so that I could do the tip for you. And But I really didn't show you about adding the thread when you are just taking care of your your length. So if you run out of thread, try to end around the edge and work your threads away like I have done and snip them off. But when you begin a new thread, I have a significant length of thread threaded onto my two needles and I have the longest tails, um, but they are even. So what you do is you pass, pass one of your needles into this edge bead here. It's just like you were working with your regular threads. Pass them through and put your needles together. I mean, pass that needle through that bead and put your needles together and just slide them, slide the needles up so that your threads are even. That's all you do. And of course, untangle. All right. And once you, once you have your threads here, you just continue working the same way you have been. Your outside thread is going to string, you're gonna string on two of your edge beads on the outside thread. And one of your main colors on the inside thread. And you're just gonna be careful when you pull the threads down so that you don't lose your um, even thread measurements lengths i mean and just you know do the same thing cross through this main pearl here and and pull i'm leaving leaving the work flat so you can see exactly what's happening and this significant length of thread that i have is um just because i won't be recording this part because you already have this stuff recorded it's it's um just repetition now as so you keep doing the same thing over again over and over until you get to the length that you want and once you have finished with your length i will meet you here and this time i promise we will finish the um this whole necktie all right i have completed weaving the length of my necktie and we are about to put the um, front embellishment on it to make it look like um, as if you had tied a tie and how we're going to do that is um, I've got my my beads here all counted out and I've got um, if you can see, I've got, well, seven, seven pearls here, six here, then five and five and five, and on down the line, four, three, two, three, and we're going to make 10 rows of our embellishment. And we're going to start off by cutting a new piece of thread. You're going to need about a yard of thread. And once I put my camera back on the tripod, we will get started making our front embellishment. I'm really pleased with my tie. I love the Swarovski color, that turquoise color. It's awesome. So I'll be right with you in a second as soon as I put the camera on the tripod. I have my needles threaded with the one yard of thread and I've taken the liberty of stringing on the seven, first seven pearls that we're going to use here and what I'm going to do is just to make sure that we are entering the, the right 
pearl for our embellishment, the whole orientation should be running vertically, not horizontally. To make sure you're in the right one, we're going to slide our needle right into this outside pearl here, that first one, making sure that we have it in the right um, hole, I'm sorry, the right pearl with the whole orientation running vertically. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side, the same pearl symmetrically. And I'm going to grab our threads, our needles, I mean, and put them together. And just so that you can see exactly what I'm doing, I'm just going to pull the threads down. That I'm trying to make sure that I have even threads on both sides. And what this is going to do is going to, to pull our threads up, our pearls up here. But I'm going to, what I'm going to do though, is I'm going to take now the next string on on either needle the next six pearls so I'm going to do that and two these round hole beads are a little cumbersome when it comes to finding the holes it's not like you can tip it over like a seed bead All right, so now I have strung on my next pearls. I've got the six pearls strung, and what I'm gonna do is just pull them right off the needle. And I'm going to cross through them with my other needle. Gonna make sure that I have even threads, and now I'm gonna push this together and pull down. Pull down until these shore up, until they get close. Now what you're going to do, what you need to do is reinforce this connection because the threads are still loose, they're going to come loose. And the only way to cure this is to reinforce, but I'm not going to make you watch me reinforce this. What I'm going to do is show you how to make your top embellishment we're going to keep we're going to keep going so we're going to get into position to add the next embellishments and i'm going to do my reinforcement when i get them all over how we get into position is to go into that next pearl and we're working on the edge here and you'll know you're in the right pearl when you can um, pass your needle into the pearl with the needle going in the vertical direction. So you're going to do that on both sides. And we're going to keep doing that all the way down until we get our embellishments on. Once here, I'm going to string on the five pearls. I got my five pearls on and I passed I pulled them right off the needle and I'm going to cross through them with my other needle. And pull my threads. And 
Remember, I said, I'm going to reinforce these when I'm done, but I want you to see exactly what I'm doing to get into position to add our next embellishment. We're going to pass our needle into the edge bead, making sure that we have the right one. Pass our needle down. Pull the thread. And it's looking pretty good, looking pretty good. So we're gonna do this again. So I strung on my five pearls again and on the one needle and I'm going to cross through with my next, with the other needle. And pull my threads. And again, get into position. And I'm going to continue this by doing one more row of five. I've got the beads all set up right here. I'm gonna do one more row of five, on a row of four, another row of four, then row of three, then two, and three. And once I get all of those done, I'm going to reinforce and I'm going to turn the camera back on so you can see exactly what we have and then we will string on our necklace. Before I string the necklace part onto my tie, I need to prepare my jump rings. I want to make a uh, an extender with my jump rings and I want to show you the proper way to open jump rings and to make sure that they're closed properly. So what you do is you identify the opening. Do you see that? There's an opening there. You just wanna make sure that they're, that it's completely closed. So you just take your pliers, and I did say at the beginning that I needed a second pair of pliers. What you do is you take your pliers and you twist back and forth just to make sure that this is closed. And there, there it is, it's closed. And I'm just gonna, you know, twist it back that way just to make sure that it is closed. You don't want this to scratch your skin when you are wearing it. And in order to make my extender, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take, let me move some of these. I'm gonna take um, one of my other jump rings and these are 18 gauge and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to open it up by twisting. Remember, if you spread it out, if you spread it open this way, it compromises the strength of the ring. So what you want to do is you just make sure you twist, twist back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And once you do get that done, open it up so that you can slip in another jump ring at this for this at this time I'm going to um, slip in the first one the one that is going to, to be closest to the necklace and a second and I'm going to close this jump ring by twisting these together making sure that they are closed if you can see anywhere Ooh. -oh. <laughs> well that's not a good example but if you can see anywhere in this jump ring you can see it there's just a little opening left there you just want to make sure you just keep twisting just enough so that 
they will close. There you go. There it is. It's completely closed now. And what you do is just make sure that where you're going to continue to extend that the jump ring that you are using is closed as well. So make sure that you twist it back and forth. Make sure there's no opening, no gap, just like this. And you continue by getting the next, the next jump ring. Open this one. And slide it onto the last jump ring that you had. I gotta open it a little wider. Slide it onto that last jump ring that you checked and one more and then close it up. And you wanna continue doing that until you have the length of extender that you want. And when we get ready to uh, put our make our pearl chain, pearl necklace part, then this part is already done. All right, I'm gonna make about a three inch extender that way there should be no sizing issues when Mr. Craig wears this. Okay, that's it, that's how you do it. And then you pull this one around, make sure that it's closed and it looks really good. And then you continue. So that's how you just, you make an extender, all right? We'll see you in a minute so we can get started making our necklace. Here we are now with my and front embellishments completed. Uh, this is supposed to give the appearance of a the tie. When you tie a necktie, this is supposed to give the appearance of that that tie. And I think I did a pretty good job. I like it. So now we are at the point of the project where we are going to add our necklace. Now I um, I cut a new piece of thread and I'm only using one needle this time. I cut a two yard length of thread and we want to identify the pearl in which we are going to um, attach our necklace and what I'm doing uh, just you know pick it up and look at it from the back and I want the necklace to come out of this pearl here you've got an edge pearl and then you've got the next pearl to its left and on the same side I mean on the other side same thing we're going to use this pearl and if there if you get confused what you want to have are five pearls in between so you want these open one two three four five so you want these five open so you'll know that the proper pr position for your thread is here now what I'm going to do is I'm not going to just start right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a a right angle weave unit and I'm going to leave a nice tail by going down into the pearl that's next to the right angle next to the pearl that we're going to use for our necklace. And what this is doing is giving our project, our necklace strength. The worst thing you want to do is have a beautiful project that falls apart or breaks up and I'm gonna leave a significant tail maybe four inches or so so that I can weave my ends back in before um, nipping them off so what I've done is I've run my my needle right down this pearl here and I'm going to make the right angle by going here and this pearl and coming up in this pearl here. And you'll know that you're doing the right thing because the your whole orientation changes from horizontal to vertical and you know you're going in the right direction. 
and I'm going to pull it here and I really don't like working with such a long length of thread while I'm doing a video but I'm actually doing this project so <laughs> I just want you to see what I'm doing here all right with my thread my tail end here I've got like I said about four inches this could be five inches I'm going to pass my needle into the pearl here that we are using for the necklace right here okay there you go pull my needle through I'm going to tie a knot Just gonna go first loop first time and then the second time I go I'm gonna pass my my tail thread through that loop twice tighten down so I tighten down pretty good pretty nicely here and what I'm going to do is make sure that that knot does not go into your beads but I'm going to begin by stringing a pearl and a seed bead a pearl and a seed bead a pearl and a seed bead and I'm going to continue doing that. I'm going to string it on all of my pearls. And I'm going to do 40 and separated by seed beads until I get to my length, my desired length. The reason I'm using a seed bead in between the pearls is because I want to give the texture and the appearance of pearl knotting without actually doing the knotting. So once I string all of my beads on this side, I will turn the camera back on and we'll continue. I completed stringing my pearls and seed beads and and I used 40 pearls now um, I'd like you to pay attention to which side this is the front of the necktie and I'm attaching these strung pearls on the right side of the neck necktie and the this this um, the person who's going to, to be wearing it is right-handed. So I'm going to put the lobster clasp, the lobster claw on this side. So once I've strung on my last pearl, what I'm going to do is string on my wire guardian through the first hole. And I'm going to pass my thread, needle and thread around the horseshoe and into the second hole of this wire guardian and we're using this the wonderful swivel clasp and I'm just going to string that swivel clasp um, lobster claw onto my wire guardian and I'm just going to let that rest on the, on the inside of the horseshoe and because this is a stainless steel wire guardian, it's a little harder to um, close than the other ones that I use. They're not as rigid. This, so I'm going to use my, my uh, needle nose plier and I'm just going to pinch, pinch this as closed as it can get. So this is as much as it's going to close, which is fine because I don't need it. I just don't want it to to um, be on the outside of the pearl. So once I get my first part of this clasp going, I'm just going to make sure that my thread is resting inside 
this groove here into the horseshoe and it is and I'm just going to tighten down on it a little and pass my needle all the way through all of these beads here because we're just going to um, reinforce this as much as possible. I at least want to have two passes of thread going through the wire guardian that's at the clasp. And as you're doing this, just make sure you keep turning it around to make sure that you're not missing anything. I've done that before. Pass my, my needle down through my beads and come to find out that there was a thread on the outside of the beads. So before you pull here, make sure that you've got your needle through all of the beads and just keep going all the way down until you get to the other end where you started and I will meet you there. As you can see, I have come back through all of these pearls and seed beads and I'm back into the bead where I started, where I first put that first pearl on. And what you want to do is take note of your tension. I've got this thread right here. You can see it here. It's coming out. We, I don't, I want, we want to tighten down our thread um, so that there are no gaps in our um, pearls and beads. But we don't want to choke it. We do not want to choke the life out of it because you also don't want to break your threads. So, but you don't want to see any of these threads. So what I did was I just tightened down a little. You can still see a tiny spot of thread right there, but no worries. How we're going to continue this is with my thread exiting this pearl where we started, I'm going to go back into the right angle weave unit where we started. You could see the knot there a little bit. So we're going to go back into the right angle weave unit where we started. And I'm going to get in that hole. I have to make sure that the knot is not covering that. All right. So got right into that, that pearl. And like I said, we're going to reinforce this right angle weave unit where we started and that is also going to help us with our the seeing the threads on the side go into this pearl here into this pearl here don't be afraid to manhandle your projects because if anything is to go wrong if you, especially if you're selling things you want it to go wrong while you are working with the project. You don't want to sell it to someone and then they come back to you five minutes later and you know it's broken or you can see a thread or something like that. All right, so here's that first right angle weave unit where we started, where we attached that thread. And what we're gonna do is what I'm gonna do, what I am going to do, and if you are making it like this, is going to pass my needle up into all the beads and pearls again until I get back up to my, my um, clasping. And I'm gonna go back into the pearls and then back around into that wire guarding and back down again and reinforce that right angle weave unit and if I have enough thread go back up and reinforce this unit this connection clasping again and then I'm going to tie off my threads and when I finish this side I'm going to go ahead and do the other side using my my um, chain extension chain and extension that we made um, when we um, before we started doing our uh, necklace and use my other wire guardian and do the same thing you know you already know that you're going to be starting your um, your necklace here in this pearl bead and you're going to make your right angle 
connection starting down and going this way the same opposite of the way you did it on this side it's going to come out exactly the same way and when i am done connecting i will be back to show you my finished finished project i want to show you how i finished off my threads i've completed stringing both sides of my my necklace chain and now i and i have uh passed the thread through my wire guardian three times that means i've got about six passes of thread through the pearls and the beads and i think it's pretty secure so what i did was i was able to uh stitch down into all the way down to the beginning where we started and my threads are meeting up and what I'm going to do is tie these threads in a knot and once I tie them in a knot I'm going to do some right angles and pull the knot into a pearl this edge pearl here so that it's not showing and the project will be pretty secure. And so I just pass my needle, my thread through the loop twice when I tie and tighten down again and pull it as tightly as possible. Lost my needle, but you get the idea. This is the front and what I'm going to do is just make right angles and work my thread thread away right down here on the sides. Right down here on the sides and make my right angles. And I'm going to cut that thread off and I'm going to do the same thing with my tail. I'm going to pull the knot into this edge pearl here and I'm going to go around here and then come back and start making right angles down the side of the embellishment uh the side of the necklace not on the embellishment on the side of the necklace and so then that will complete the project i have completed my project when you when you do your uh, um necklace just make sure if you want it to to lay smoothly just you know um you know, mix your beads around, you know, put some warmth on them, stretch them out a little bit, and they won't be a problem. Um, they'll, they'll lay smoothly and um, fit nicely around your neck. Then, this is the way it looks. That's for the get into my fashions. And then I made another one for the life of Carrie for the Care Bears. So we have that one there. And then, just for good measure, I have one for myself. Just some crystals. So there you have it. I'd like to thank you for hanging out with me and hope to see you soon on the next video. So long.